Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. School me on these debates that they be having about your identity as a South African colored person. What, is, what does that even mean? Can we, yeah, can we not, for favor? Oh, I like that. We keeping that in the interview, too. Oh, <laughs> I like when they talk from the back and say we can't. I like that. I like the character. That's good. That's even better. <laughs> Next one, please. That's even better. <laughs> yes. no, I know no one ever wants me to be the person to say things. No one else says anything, so I'm going to say it. I don't know if you've seen the video going around of um, Charlemagne blindsiding Tyla with questions about a variety of topics. I'm just saying mean things, being vulgar to her the second the interview started, just being nasty and a bully, as he often can be. I just want to let you know why that is. Um, we were given a list uh, of things she did or did not want to talk about, which is not unusual. And you can decide what you know how much you care about avoiding those topics. And maybe you might say, hey, you know what? If they don't want to talk about this, we're not going to do the interview. Um, in this case, obviously they said yes to doing the interview. And then I know this because I've seen the list. He then went down the list and intentionally blindsided her about every single topic that they said she hoped not to talk about. Everyone's making about one thing, but it's a multitude of topics that he brought up that were on that list. And he, if you see the video, he took pride in sticking it to the label and did that, not worrying about how it made Tyla feel, who is a young artist who's already apprehensive and uncomfortable and made this experience miserable and made, you know, it made it bad for other people who'd like to interview her um, because that's the kind of guy he is. But he sits on a throne and he calls himself a god. So, I mean, he's obviously a big man. Sometimes, depending on what it is, like if it's something like really personal, you know, really serious, something I know is traumatizing, I'll be like, sure, I'll oblige. For this one, I said no. Yeah. And the reason I said no, they had six things they didn't want us to ask. You want to know what those six things were? <laughs> yeah. They didn't want us to ask about Kai Sinat. <laughs> the whole we friends though thing. Yeah. Right? Like, huh? Okay. They didn't want to ask. They didn't want us to ask Chris about uh, her not being on tour with Chris Brown anymore. They didn't want us to ask about the color thing. Injury. They didn't want us to ask about her injury that she sustained. What else was it? They didn't want to ask us about who she was dating, which I wouldn't do anyway. And what was the other one? It was one so it was it was just all frivolous. And stuff. why? What are they trying to do? They're trying to protect an image that they're I, curating for her. I have no idea, and that's why I said. Oh, with the Rihanna thing, comparing, comparing. Oh yeah, Rihanna. and, and comparison, and it wasn't even Rihanna. It just said comparisons to other pop artists, huh? Oh, so they're trying to separate her from Kai Sinat. She's her own individual. Don't tie her to him. And you want me to not ask her about Kai Sinat the day after Kevin Hart just was on Kai Sinat show again with Bring a big sign that said we friends though <laughs> yeah. like, come on yo so i said to them no oh. now when i say no i'm not going to uh, oblige but, any yeah. of this it is your job then label management whoever to either prepare the artist for the questions or pull the interview exactly yeah i'm fine with either or yeah i've already told you i'm not going to follow any of this yes so when you see suckers out there yeah is saying things like, you know, he asked every question they asked him not to ask yeah. because I'm not a sucker, yeah. right? And being that I'm not a sucker for record labels, yeah. I have a job to do and my job yeah. is, is for the people. So imagine, right, if I'm sitting around and I'm having a conversation, uh, you know, if we have these conversations and then all in the comments, it's like, why didn't you ask this? Why didn't you ask that? Why didn't you ask this? Why didn't you ask that? Yeah. I, got a, I got a job to do to the people. Yeah. My, my job, my integrity with the people will always matter more than my integrity with a guy. Label. Yeah, and also the label's using you. A hundred percent, but you know, yeah. you got you have a lot of people that don't do that. You have a lot of radio personalities, a lot of journalists, a lot of people who care more about those relationships with the labels yeah. than they do relationships with the actual audience. And it shows. And, and it shows. Yeah. And not only does it show, you, you show your card Yeah. when you say that. When you say, the, the, the label asked him not to do it, and he did it anyway. So the yeah. fuck what? Yeah. After I told the label. So they knew. They, they so knew. why are they complaining? It, their job was to prepare their client yeah. or pull the, the interview. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine with either or. You want to be qualified. You want to be validated by doing The Breakfast Club. You're an artist in the culture. You want that experience in The Breakfast Club, but you want to control the interview. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can ask to do both things. You can ask as a favor, and then it's up to you to decide if you want to oblige or not. But if you say that you don't want to do the interview in that way, 
then you don't have to do it. And you know how many interviews we've turned down when they be like, yo, you can't ask about this, See, this, I'm this, not and interested this. In that's possible. Absolutely. But the idea that the label is going to come in and like uh, curate this narrative. And also, you, the artist a lot of times don't even know. They have no idea. And I, by the way, I tell her that. Did I go go? The last yeah. thing I say to her in the interview, yeah, which the by the way, the label wanted us to take that out. Mm. <laughs> they was like, could you take out what you said about mm. the label at the end? No. Wow, wow, man, this one here, I had to really think about like, wow, like this here kind of comes in a little bit to where I feel like, wow, I gotta, I gotta say something about it because it's man, I've done thousands and thousands of interviews now. And Charlemagne and Rosenberg, those are big dogs when it come down to it with all the years and experience they got in and that competitive spirit, that competitive edge, it make you, you know, that machismoism pop up for men. And I, I, I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's a thing where men, you know, I, 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 I choose, that's his peer. So this is a good little old, little old conversation. But Rosenberg, you know, um, I don't know. I, <sighs> I gotta go with Charlemagne on this one, man, cause Tyler, this this young lady, she comes in to a situation where she's already been forewarned that it could be a, a it could be a mishap, it could be something that basically, you know, you I told you I'm gonna ask you these questions, and don't get me don't get it wrong, uh, Charlemagne, he can be a dog, you know, when it come down to what he do, but at the end of the day, Charlemagne's matured a lot over the years, man, and I'm really, really a big Charlemagne fan, so it's really not good for me to even speak on this because I'm such a, a fan uh, of the show and just those guys and the work they put into everything that they do, but Charlemagne has had to grow through different ages and through different spaces, said some things that he probably wish he didn't say, hadn't have said back in the days, but it, it molded and shaped him into the guy that he is today. So when I look at this interview, uh, the one that he done with this young lady, I don't see an issue with him asking her questions if he already warned him that I would ask it. And his reputation is that. And I could very much agree with him about uh, how you try to appeal to the audience. That is so important instead of appealing to just a label or whoever. There are so many people that try to get on Boss Talk 101. And when they try to get on it, they end up not getting on. Some people that, you know, they people be calling. I'm not for no games. I'm, I'm looking for a regular conversation. A lot of people be like, why you cut him off? Or why you, I'm not doing the breakfast club. I'm not doing hot nine five or hot nine seven. I'm not doing none of that. I'm doing boss talk 101. So I don't even trip on, if I say something, um, I speak how I speak. That's what make it organic to me. I don't really go by no rules that set by media or nothing. The media training thing is cool, but I wanted my show to be more like we speaking like you under a tree or you out in the out in the hood talking to your homeboys. I wanted it to be more organic. I, I don't that that's why, like I said, I, I respect Charlemagne for what he does because he try to stay true to himself and to his audience. And that's what I, 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 that's, that's my key element. A lot of people say, man, you get in front of Ice-T, you get in front of whoever, Sil, uh, any of those guys, Carlos, and you still the same dude. That's because I demand, I demand to be organic to the audience that I'm in front of. And these guys right here, these guys are vets, a big fan of, of Charlemagne. I really like Rosenberg too. Uh, dope. The the young lady, she got a lot of growing up to do. She still got to go through the phases. I think I'm hard on people when I meet them because I want to take them through the trend. I want them to I want them to get 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 to to where they're uncomfortable with me because I want them to be able to go through this next interview with flying colors once I get through with them. But at the end of the day, I really 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 like this conversation that's being had because it's something that hits home. We've had those interviews that didn't ever come out because people, um, you know, we respected the person or uh, it just wasn't a good vibe. The energy wasn't right or it, it just a lot of things that can make it to where your interview may not ever come out. If you, if you don't want to don't come on the show. Why do you want to come on the show if you don't even like the host? Don't come on the show. So I don't know. You guys get in the comments. Tell me, was Charlemagne wrong? Which or, or, or was it Rosenberg right in, in in the fact of prepping these questions? Charlemagne comes out and say, "Hey man, I'm telling you right now. I told him I'm going to ask these questions. 
if I'm her manager or if I'm the person who's the PR or whoever's dealing with her, the A and R, whoever, I'm prepping her for those questions when she go in there so she'll maneuver around them. But, you know, evidently whoever's with her, they probably not even not even on a level to conversate. So, man, kudos to Charlemagne, man. Like I said, I thought I was in this no man land by myself. But same thing with him, man. I kind of, like I said, I've always looked at him. At first, I didn't really rock with Charlemagne. I'm like, this nigga do crazy. He say some crazy stuff. He disrespect. But then as I've seen him transform into who he is today, I've seen him grow. I've seen him self-heal. And I think that's dope, man. And shout out to that black man, man, warrior. You know what I'm talking about? Man, now, but anyway, man, but he definitely doing his thing, man. Make sure you guys uh, like, share, comment. But, and shout out to Roseburg too, man. I'm a big fan of all you guys, man. You guys have been doing this a lot longer than me, so. But at the end of the day, respect, 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 man. Keep on killing the game. I'm gonna be right here, man, down south, man. Texas, Florida, all those different states. Memphis, uh, South and North Carolina. I'm up under this line, man. Come see your boy, man. Boss Talk 101 with a boss's dog. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me.